In the world today, the most famous companies are only a few dozen years old or 100 years old. However, there are still businesses that are less known, but it has overcome the test of time, war and economic crisis, so it can survive for hundreds or even thousands of years. These businesses have proved the same. Nobody is rich in three generations is completely incorrect. In today's video part one, let's learn about the oldest businesses on the planet. Sean's Bar in Athlone, Ireland. Located in the city of Athlone, Ireland, near the legendary Shannon River, allowing visitors to travel safely through the thousand year old swamp and right next to the ancient castle of Athlone dating back to the 12th century. Sean's Bar is still there after so many ups and downs of history. In 2004, Sean's Bar was recognized by Guinness as the oldest bar in the world. Sean's Bar is located in the ruins of Norman Castle and dates back a long time. Some researchers think it was around 8900. Initially, the bar was called Luane's Inn. For every Irishman, this place is a witness to the legends of ancient Vikings for a time past, for the country's renewal, and for the long, preserved culture. Of the legendary Shannon River, arriving at Sean's Bar, you will feel the color of time is effective on each item of the bar. That floor and wall covered with wood, made of wick powder with horsehair and clay remain intact. It was a rudimentary fireplace with crackling noises. Some spaces were filled with objects like maps, maritime maps, letters or poems from the last century. Experiencing thousands of years of history with countless different owners and managers, Sean's Bar still impresses diners with very attractive dark beers and melodious music. The beer in this bar has an unmistakable aroma made from natural barley. Nishiyama Onsen Kyonkin Hotel in Yamanashi, Japan. Japan is a country famous for the importance of family values in the direction of hereditary. Not surprisingly, this country owns many of the oldest traditional businesses in the world. Among them, the Nishiyama Onsen Kyonkin Hot Spring Complex in Hakawa, Yamanashi, Japan is the most typical one of the most famous hotels in Sunrise Country. It is not famous for its beauty or quality of service, but because of its age with over 1300 years old. The Nishiyama Onsen Kyunkin Hot Spring Complex was built at the foot of the Akaishi Mountain Range, now in Yamanashi Province, Japan and was officially put into operation in 705 by the management of M.R. Fujiwara Mihito. Since then, this hotel has been nearly continuously open to welcome millions of visitors in all directions under the management of 52 generations of Mihito descendants. This hotel is also a favorite resort of many famous historical figures, such as Japan's first shogun, Tokugawa Ayasu. They only stopped working for very short periods of time to upgrade or repair the facilities. Despite regular restoration, Ishiyama Onsen Kyunkin retains its traditional culture and does not provide internet for guests staying here. The last time Ishiyama Onsen Kyunkin had to stop working to upgrade was in 1998. Soon after, it continued to function as if nothing had happened. Currently, the 1300-year-old hotel has a total of 37 rooms, four outdoor hot spring pools and two indoor hot spring pools with water taken from nearby Hakuo underground mineral stream. In addition to serving hot spring baths, the hot mineral water system is also used for a variety of purposes, such as for living or narration in a private sauna. In 2011, Nishiyama Onsen Kyunkin officially held the Guinness World Records recognizing the title, the oldest hotel in the world. Stiftsteller St. Peter in Salzburg, Austria. 
Stiftskeller St. Peter is considered to be the oldest restaurant in the world. With more than 1,200 years of age, this restaurant was built in 803 BC located inside the Archabbey Monastery of St. Peter Peter in Salzburg. Despite thousands of years, the restaurant has been repaired and expanded many times but still retains the Baroque dining room and with ancient chandeliers that have served countless royal families and officials, senior officials and famous business people. In addition to the richness of history, the restaurant hosts a Mozart-themed dinner every week as well. On that day, the performers wore Mozart costumes to recreate the life of this famous musician. Beretta Van Company in Gardoni of Italy. In 1526, Bartolomeo Beretta received the first order from Venice Arsenal for 185 muskets, type of handheld cannon. With a value of 296 ducat, approximately $46,000 today. The sale invoice is still kept in the company's archives to this day. Nearly 500 years later, Beretta is still the oldest and most successful arms manufacturer in the world. Some of the factors that have supported the world's oldest gun manufacturer are its hometown hidden in iron, rich mountains. Following the tradition, they continued to release the Beretta 92 pistol in 1972. It can be said that this is one of the most successful pistols ever with a variety of variants, serving in a very many law enforcement and military forces of many countries around the world. The Beretta 92 is an evolution step from the earlier pistols of the Beretta Gun Company, the most significant of which are the M1922 and M1951 models. The M1922 pistol has an open slider design, while the alloy frame and barrel lock are first used on the M1951. Initial models of the 92 gun used conventional corrosion protection. But later, Brana Company used a special Teflon-based paint called Brunitin on their pistols, including the 92 gun. The gun barrel is made of good steel instead of alloy like the body. Inside the gun barrel is slotted in the traditional style of Beretta and chrome lining for better abrasion resistance. Following the general trend of modern weapons, Beretta also uses new materials in design to reduce weight, cost, and corrosion. Starting in 2000, they started replacing some parts of guns with polymer or polymer coated metal. Despite being born a long time, but with continuous improvement over time, Beretta 92 of Beretta Company is still the first choice of task forces as well as police throughout the United States. You are watching videos on LMT channel. Do not forget to visit the new channel of the Royal Family Video Group. And the details please see below the comment section. Grassmare, Bell Foundry in London, England. The city of Innsbruck has become a famous producer of bells, mainly because of its natural and human elements. Located on the road through the Brenner Pass, with an important waterway through the Alps, only 38 kilometers north of Germany and about 40 kilometers south of Italy, Innsbruck has long been a blend of cultures. Religious beliefs expressed through trade, Local copper casting artists are also highly skilled by participating in the construction of many buildings in the city with a copper roofing architecture. Here, the bell casting workshop of the Grassmere family is the most famous and oldest with nearly 400 years of history. With a long history spanning the dynasties of 27 British kings, the Grassmere family bell factory has been casting the best bells in the world. Every Friday afternoon, at the intersection of Leopoldstrasse and Olympiastrasse in Innsbruck, a small group of Grassmeyer artisans gather to conduct a rather special ceremony. The craftsmen bow and pray for the newly cast bells. For bellmakers, the Grassmeyer Bell Foundry is like a temple, where they pay homage to each bell. From the outside, 
The factory is a modest two-story building, but each year it has cast 300 large bells and more than 100,000 small ones to serve many different needs. The bell production process consists of several main stages, such as making molds from clay and bricks, pouring molten metal into bell molds. Then, the mechanic will break the mold to get the bell cleaned and polished. However, Elizabeth Grassmayer, a long-time bell maker of this family, said, The secret of the family lies in the way of calculating dimensions and shapes. Then, there is the sound of each bell, in addition, the workshop uses 19 different materials such as bricks, clay and charcoal to yeast and beer during the production of the bell. Inheriting the tradition of making bells of 14 generations, Amar Peter Grassmayer, now the owner of a foundry, said his family has been doing copper casting since 1599. Amar Peter said, each bell has its own story and history. That's why every bell seems to have a unique sound. The copper artisans here say that the Grassmayer bells are present in more than 100 countries and serve religious activities for eight major religions in the world. The most recent is a three time two shaped copper bell made exclusively for Ahu City, Denmark, which was chosen by the European Union, EU, as the European Cultural Capital 2017. Zildjian Company in Istanbul, Turkey. Avedis Zildjian, or simply called Zildjian, is one of the most popular manufacturers of symbols in the West, based in the United States. Over 14 generations of symbols, this company is currently the oldest company in the United States. Nearly 400 years ago, precisely in 1623, Amar Avedis Zildjian established a company specializing in producing cymbals, a musical instrument, in the city of Istanbul, Turkey. The business of Avedis Zildjian quickly rose like a kite in the wind. The accumulated wealth and the reputation of the product not only encapsulated in Turkey, but also spread to many other lands in the world. However, there is an undeniable fact that very few business households can withstand more than three generations. The Zildjian family is a unique case and can be said to be unique in the world when it has successfully done business to 14 generations. The current 14th generation of the family is Mrs. Craigie Zildjian with her younger sister Debbie. The Zildjian family company has expanded its branch into FAR flung America and survived even in the worst economic crisis periods such as the Great Depression and the two Great World Wars I and II. The family company currently controls 65% of the global symbols market and achieved sales of more than $15 million in 2011. The first secret of success for the Zildjian family is the protected business process which are secrets not easily revealed. Accordingly, generations of the family have instructed the workers to collect the best sources of raw materials including copper, tin and silver, making the best symbols that will be emitted when struck. The sound that lifts the world, as well as the most professional drummers when using the symbols of the Zildjian family, will no longer have to worry about the quality of the instruments. At the Zildjian Symbols Factory in Norwell, there is a special room that only a few people are allowed to enter, which are the most elite members of the family. Even the head of the company's product research and development department doesn't know the general formula for making the product. Know the general formula for making the product. Restaurant La Proco. Not only possessing famous landmarks and leading art museums in the world, the French capital is also a long, standing culinary center, even considered the global culinary capital. There, one of the oldest restaurants in the world, with more than 300 years of existence, and is still today the most prestigious culinary address in Paris. Located at 13 Anchien, Comedy Street, 
in the heart of the bustling and bustling Latin courtier area of District 6. The Procope restaurant with an elegant appearance creates sympathy with tourists from the first sight. It is hard to imagine this restaurant has such a long history when it once printed the footprint of Benjamin Franklin, one of the authors of the Declaration of Independence of the United States. He was the ambassador of the United States of America in France from 1776 to 1785. La Procope is also frequented by great philosophers, thinkers, and pundits such as Voltaire, Diderot, Rousseau, Alembert. This is the meeting place for French bourgeois revolutionary politicians such as Robespierre, Danton, and Merit and where the famous names of French literature and poetry, such as Jean de La Fontaine, Georges Sand, Balzac, Victor Hugo. According to documents that La Procope still kept, Napoleon Bonaparte, when he was a poor officer, once came here to eat. Then, due to insufficient funds, the future emperor had to leave his officer hat as collateral. The hat is still on display at this restaurant today, the interior of the restaurant is bold classic with three floors, has 328 years of life, on the walls of the dining room covered with objects, images, autographs of celebrities, oil paintings dating back centuries. And yet, when reading the menu of Le Procope, diners also discover a culinary world of Paris as if it was lost, because the restaurant still processes old Parisian dishes, such as stewed veal head in clay pot, chicken cooked with wine, odian onion soup, grilled snail with garlic butter. As for desserts, La Procope makes customers happy with the hot chocolate puff pastry and vanilla ice cream, or the special tiramisu cake of the chef. If not hungry when coming to this place, customers can only order a famous cup of coffee because in the past this restaurant was a cafe. In 1685, a young Sicilian chef, Italy, named Francesco Procopio di Coltelli left his hometown of Palermo to live in Paris, bringing a gelato ice cream machine. Francesco Procopio had the idea of opening a coffee and ice cream shop near the neighborhood of Saint Germain des Prez because at that time there were only pubs. He was granted a license by King Louis XIV and changed his name to Procope, and the restaurant's name is now. Initially, the Procope's coffee drinkers were mainly tennis players because there were many tennis courts around the neighborhood. However, by 1689, there was a theater built nearby, and the coffee shop had many famous actors and actresses. From a bar specializing in ice cream and coffee, it became a restaurant specializing in traditional food of France and Italy. It became a meeting place for many intellectuals and artists of the capital of light. Thank you for watching videos on LNT. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and watch more new videos to support the group. Thank you for watching videos on LNT. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and watch more new videos to support the group. Thank you.